In this Flutter tutorial, let's check out how to create a rich text editor in Flutter by making use of a package called as FlutterQL. Okay, so here is a demo app that is been running and it has a toolbar by which I can edit my text field and customize it as per my need. So I have entered some text over here. So let's customize it by making use of this QL toolbar. Okay, so I want to make this bold so you can just select B, tilt it give a underline to it by making use of this icons okay and you can also change the color of the text so you just need to select the text and just change the color that you want and you can also change the background of this color uh, text sorry something like this okay so let's go to our android studio to implement this flutter code Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio IDE and I have opened my existing pro uh, Flutter project in this IDE. Uh, first of all, we need to go to popspecification.yaml file and under dependency section, you need to add this Flutter QL library. Okay, so after adding this, just hit this pop get button. Now simply import the package wherever you want to implement rich text editor by making use of Flutter QL library. So here import flutter ql.dart okay so now in scaffold widget let's show a toolbar where a user can uh, edit his text field okay so for that let's use ql toolbar and let's make use of the basic package of this okay here we need to attach a controller so that we can control the toolbar of our ql text editor okay so for that let's create a controller over here okay so here i have created a controller that i need to attach it to our toolbar okay so now let's run our app on a browser and check the ql toolbar Okay, so the app has been running and you can see there is a text editor toolbar by which you can customize your text field. Okay, and now down of it, I need a QL text editor where a user can enter his text. So let's create it. So here, just below this toolbar, I need to create a QL editor. Something like this. Okay, and these are the properties that you can make use of okay so simply what i will do is i will make use of basic things so ql editor dot basics and in this basics class i need to just pass the controller that we have created and we need to uh, set a permission uh, to read only or it should be editable so first of all let's pass a controller that we have created and read only let's change it to false okay so now let's hot refresh and check so you can see there is a cursor over here okay so now i can change the text and customize it as per my needs i can make the font uh, heading tag something like this so i can also change it to points checkbox increase the size yeah okay and now let's check out how to customize this toolbar by making use of its properties over here okay so over here uh, there, there are some properties that you can make use to edit this toolbar so first of all tool size uh, font i need to change and let's give the size of this so let's say 15 pixels and hot refresh so you can see so let's make it 20 yeah 25 so you can see like this you can uh, increase or decrease the size of this toolbar okay and next property is icon theme okay so ql icon themes okay so here you can see there is a square uh, borders so let's change it to border radius and let's change it to 14 hot refresh now i want to change the color of this icon so let's change it by making use of icon filled color 
so field color let change the color to uh, i can change it to orange so let's check so you can see icon unselected field color so you can change the color of unselected fields by making use of this property colors dot so let's make it light black yeah so it is not looking good so icons unselected color so let's change the icon unselected colors so let's make it white and let's check so you can see well, like this you can just customize it and icons dot selected colors so colors dot let me make it blue so you can see here that is a blue color okay so that's all for this video tutorial the complete source code of this uh, tutorial will be in my description you can just check it and take the code from there so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you